This is an inline scotch yoke type Lego pneumatic engine that I built and I based it off of instructions I found for a three cylinder one. I'll try to post a link in the description of this video. And the scotch yoke system is fairly unique in that instead of the pistons being attached to the crankshaft directly, they have a yoke on them which wraps over a peg on the crankshaft so that the pistons are allowed to move completely vertically and horizontal completely vertically sorry um without having to tilt from side to side like that they just go up and down um in their housing and this is also much more compact than any of my other engine designs and the switches are mounted vertically too and they're controlled by these things that are attached to the yokes themselves on the um, on the pistons and this switch on this side which is moved by this piston is actually um, attached to this piston so the tube on this piston goes to this switch and vice versa this, pi um, this switch goes to this piston so each piston controls the other one really they don't control themselves, um, and there's no flywheel really other than this big gear, because since those two pistons are set by 90 degrees, there's no toggle points, so the running is a bit jerky, but um, if I put it in a vehicle or attach a geared up flywheel, that should fix that problem easily. You can see on either side those guard rails so that the pistons move um, perfectly vertically, and I'll turn it on. Let's see. Flywheel turning on that side. Are the yokes moving up and down. For detailed pictures of this, um, you can visit my brick shelf page where I'll post some. Also, um, I'll post a link to the instructions for a three-cylinder version of this, and it was pretty easy to modify it. I just left out a lot of the steps, and it works pretty good. It takes a bit more pressure to run and stops running at about 20 psi, um, but if you use a bicycle pump you can fill up a bottle like this with around 40 or 50 psi and have it run for a couple minutes. Or you can attach it directly to the bicycle pump, and I'll do that now. Attaching the engine to the bicycle pump's nozzle. As you can, you can see here, bicycle pump. And I'll start pumping it.